Hello, hello, and good afternoon once again. Dr. Nadade here at Ask the Gynecologist. Uh, I think my audio here has an issue, so I'm going to take off this one. So, good, uh, good evening once again. Dr. Nadade here at Ask the Gynecologist. And tonight, I'll be talking about how to get the best from your IVF treatment. Uh, obviously, I'll be talking about ATG IVF Center at some point during this discussion. But that's not the bulk or the meat of this discussion today. Uh, my talk today is on how you can understand what is going on with your IVF treatment. And we'll be running a series of lectures on this page regularly now regarding IVF so that people will possibly understand how IVF goes, basically. And uh, this will ensure you to get your best. Once again, this is Dr. J at Ask the Gynecologist. And I'm happy to be your host today and uh, tonight. And most importantly, I'll be talking about how to improve your chances with IVF. Most people that came to the seminar over the weekend, they've learned a lot regarding this topic. But despite that, I'll still explain a bit more today because I believe everything in life is free. That's my own thing. But at the end of the day, what makes us get value for what we do is how we package products, okay? how you present your case, how you present your help to people, how you present value to people. That is what gives you, uh, you know, uh, compensation, really. So the whole design of this talk today is to ensure that if you go for IVF at any center, for example, ATG IVF center, because that's our, our ATG center, you need to know how to approach things so that you get the best. First of all, you must know that your doctor is not the person you should be hiding anything from. I've consulted with people, apologies, on ATG WhatsApp group, and they somehow decide to hide information from me. Okay? And it's amazing that people assume that the doctor has all uh, the spirit within them to de decipher the things they don't say to us. If you want a doctor to give you the best treatment, the best thing is to tell me everything I need to know. And if I ask you for a test or any information, the best thing for you to supply the information to me by giving me the information, it will make my diagnosis probably better. And it will give me trust with you and you trust me as well in terms of the treatment options I offer you. So the doctor, your doctor is not a magician. Your doctor is not an hypnotist. Your doctor is not uh, some occult guy. We only do things according to the way you give us answers to the questions we ask. So this is important that whenever we ask questions from you, go to your clinical history, you tell us the, the concise truth. I, I, I've chosen that word, I say concise truth deliberately. Concise truth means you think you've seen the truth, okay? but by hiding information or withholding information, that could actually mislead the doctor in some way. So concise truth means concisely everything about you, your journey, okay? Yes. Now, like I always tell people, somebody's asking about IVF, ATG. First of all, I want to say thank you everyone for supporting Axe Gynecology so far, and we are still not started yet. Uh, we opened our ATG IVF center yesterday. And we had four patients. They've been scanned. They are on the protocol. They are on the queue for the protocol. And next week or there about, we we'll start, 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 start their protocol. Okay. Now, the bonanza ongoing at the ATG IVF center ends on Friday. And people are asking, what is it, the bonanza? The bonanza is worse, worse. Two cycles, you pay 1.8 million naira. Yes. You can't get it anywhere. Most places in Lagos will charge you one cycle, 1.6 million for one cycle of IVF. At the ATG, we gave a bonanza two cycles for 1.8 million. It's dead cheap. It's not cheap because it's just like that. What I've decided to do is to subsidize the cost personally myself. The IVF medications on its own will cost you northwards of at least 765,000 naira, only the medication alone. You go to most centers, okay? They hide costs from you. What they tell you is that IVF is 7850. Your medications, anesthesia, everything, 765. You add it together, you're paying close to 1.6 million. But you say, oh, I'm paying IVF only, 850. 
But you forgot that you can't do the IBA without the medication and, and the anesthesia. They've built that separately and they've costed you separately as $750. They build you, your high VF as X amount of money, 800 and so plus. But you have to pay everything. But you go out, you're thinking you paid only IVF 850. We've forgotten that you're going to pay the whole bill of 1.6 million. At the ATG IVF Center, we've covered everything for you, made it easier, fact, fact, and straightforward. 1.8 million for two cycles. That was the bonanza. But definitely, Nigeria, the problem in Nigeria is that everything is always going a wire every day. Dollar is never stable. Or, or I would say, I would say on the other hand, Naira is never stable. Dollar is stable, but Naira is not stable. So it always affects everything we buy. And most of the, the um, drugs we use for IVF, they are imported. Yes, they are imported because that's the way it is. Nigeria is not, is not, uh, uh, Nigeria is a consuming nation, put it that way. So things are very expensive. Okay. And they're never stable. There's no price stability. So therefore, I've decided that that promotion ends this Friday. If you are serious about IVF, you should have paid my mind right now if you want to proceed. We've been shouting for almost one to two months that we are starting IVF. This is the promotion. This is the, this is that. So that promotion ends Friday. In fact, we've taken it off. It's canceled. If you have called the IVF center, they have told you by now that that two circle bonanza is totally ended. That is as per my instruction. Now, one cycle is one cycle. If you want to do two cycles, you pay for each individual cycle. Okay. If you find it cheaper than that, okay, one cycle at the ATG is 1.3 million. If you find it cheaper than that, the one cycle is everything. Your anesthesia, your medications. If you find it cheaper than 1.3 in Lagos, good year. I can guarantee you that probably they, they're just pouring water into your bomb bomb and they'll tell you, sorry, my sister. IVF didn't work out. It's failure. Bye-bye. That your money is gone into blazes. If you sit down and cost IVF, medication, nurses, expertise, blah, 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 and the setup, it's going to be difficult for all, I'm saying everything, drugs and everything, for anybody to offer you less than 1.6 million. If they are offering you less than 1.6 million IVF in Lagos, know that your money is going to smoke. The cost way in Lagos, it will be close to 1.4 to 1.5 million minimum. If anything is less than that, that they are playing with your money. Just take it from me. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not God. You know, I may be wrong, but so far I know I've gone through people's bills. A patient that we've sent out to go and do IVF on Lagos Island in my, in my Godo Ikeja, they've come back to me with their bill and I've seen their bill and I can see that they are paying almost 20%, 30% more than what we charge in ATG IVF. For each patient coming to our laboratory for IVF center in ATG, each cycle, I personally subsidize 200 grand for them. Personally. It's my own personal fund. For each patient that comes to IVF center in ATG, I personally dish out, by the grace of God, 200 grand to support their program for success. So that at the end of the day, you're getting a cheaper service, but somebody is paying the bill. By the grace of God, I've taken that upon myself. Okay. So, what I've told my, my secretaries today is that that cost, okay, of 1.3 million ends on Friday for one circle. For Monday morning, it starts with 1.4 million because the costs are so totally prohibitive. If you are an ATG member, okay, you can still pay and we'll give you a discount of 100 grand discount. So as ATG member, you can still pay your 1.3 till Friday. But Monday, everybody across the board, 1.4. No special rate anymore. I'm sorry. That's the honest truth. From Monday morning, 1.4 million for one single IVF cycle. And that covers all your medication, all your tests, and everything. If you need dodo egg, there'll be, there's a separate charge for that. If you need donor sperm, separate charge for that. If you want f a family balancing, separate charge for that on top of the IVF. Okay. That is the best I can offer for now. Okay. If you understand, you understand. But if you still want to take advantage of that, 
register tomorrow morning. The lab is closed now. They open 9 a.m. tomorrow. Call and pay and book. The lines are getting filled. Costs are unstable in Nigeria. Who knows what's going to happen next week? Who knows what will happen in two weeks' time? So take your chance. Do it now. Anyway, for ATG IVF Center, we are currently only in Lagos. Okay? We are not a federal commission. We are privately funded. We do our branches all over Nigeria because we are not a bank. We are a laboratory. We only have a branch only in Lagos. We are not a commission. Okay. We are not a, we are not a Nigerian commission. Okay. We only have a branch only in Lagos. Maybe in future, true blessings from people like you will be able to open branches anywhere in Nigeria, even in Sambiza Forest by God's grace. So that's just by the way. Most importantly, I want to say 10 people. I don't, I don't know. So, 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 no matter how bad things are, some people still got out, out of gold. 10 people yesterday sent donation to sponsor members to join antenatal class. I was amazed because for about two, three hours, I kept on getting people paying. Somebody paid for four. Somebody paid for another person paid for four. A lady paid for five. And I, you know, so many donations coming in, people supporting their friends, people supporting ladies like you to pay for antenatal services in ATG. I mean, I was impressed and I'm still impressed and I'm still basking in that surprise. Now, why don't we all also come together to support our people that need IVF? Personally, I've invested over close to, I won't mention the amount because I have to be a bit uh, uh, discreet. We've spent a large amount of money to set up an IVF center. If you know what it costs to set up a laboratory, they now move to set up a laboratory and an IVF center, it's a big, it's huge money. I could have used more that money to go and buy, you know, Ferrari or buy maybe a Porsche Jeep or Porsche Cayenne and driving around London. That's okay. Story for another day. But personally, we've invested in a lot of money to get the IVF center ready. If God has put it in your heart to sponsor a lady for IVF, whether it's half, halfway or you want to come together, a friend, support one another lady to go IVF in ATG center, you can. If you say you want to do that, I personally will find a way to meet you halfway and contribute on top of that so that people can do the IVF. So, for example, an IVF costs 1.4 million in ATG. Yes. Okay, you want to sponsor somebody. We'll give you a discount of 1.3. You support a friend. Put the money together. Dr. Alade, we have 1.2 or 1.3. I'll put the rest to top it up so that we can get people to get these things done. My prayer is that people should have babies consistently whenever they want, if they want, how they want, in their own way. And if we can move a step further to achieve that dream and make it available for the common man, why not? If that lady wants to pay 800, that's what she has. You're a friend. Help them. Put money together for them. Wherever you reach, call me. I'll make it up. Then that will happen. But I cannot say I'll give everybody IVF free in Nigeria. You want to kill me? It's not possible. First of all, I've moved, taken a step to make it available for the common man. IVF centers are not very common in Lagos. We've taken a state, Lagos state has about 60 million or so people. I'm not sure. Now, we need more IVF centers. We've gotten one for ATG for people like you. You work in there. Start a payment plan. Wherever you reach, we we'll match it up. But you must take a step. If your friends come together, they want to support you. Why not? Churches can support. Mosques can support. Jobs can support. And societies can support. Come to me. Talk to me. Talk to my secretary. We'll open a file for you. Wherever you can contribute to, I will match it up. But I cannot match anything that does not exist. Now, if you're coming from Ghana, coming from America, coming from UK, you can fly in. There are ample hotels available in Ikeja, Lagos. You can stay in there. But you must work together to ensure that you know that you're going to be on ground for four to six weeks. I would say plan for at least five to six weeks to be around to get your IVF program started and completed. If you want to travel in, ensure that if you're coming for IVF, you come at least five days before your scheduled day one of your cycle. So that it's easier for us to start it together. So if you're coming to Lagos now on Friday, and uh, on Friday, and your period starts maybe 
Wednesday, Thursday next week. Plan your ticket, fly in now, Friday, Saturday, so that you're getting ready. As soon as the, the week starts, you go into the Ara Center and you start your test. And all this payment for IVF that we that we have told you now includes all your tests for yourself and your husband. Okay. If I eventually you need an egg donor or sperm donor, they will talk about that. We had the extras for that because we have to pay for people that will donate to you. But for strictly IVF, you using your own egg, your own husband sperm is 1.4 from next week Monday. No other discounts. Okay, flat, flat. Now let us go to the topic of today because topic topic of today is how to maximize success for your IVF. During the seminar we did over the weekend, I explained about, or even two days ago, I went into details of what could make IVF fail. And what could make IVF successful is the topic of tonight. Now, um, the most important thing in IVF is always uh, the woman. Okay, but what could make a couple need IVF? I always say all the time three reasons why people could need IVF. Three reasons. First of all, ovulation. People not ovulating well. That is the woman. You have high level of prolactin, you don't treat it. You have high level of prolactin, you take medications, you're not monitoring it. You have high level of prolactin, you're not monitoring it to see whether you need any other additional medication. You, you're not ovulating, you're not, you're having an irregular period. Your last period was in January. You haven't seen anything and you're not worried. You, you've not checked whether you have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Ovulation failure. Number one cause of IVF, uh, infertility. You're not ovulating regularly. You should be ovulating regularly. Sometimes plus or minus two or three days is okay for your period to be either, either side or delayed. It's okay. But your period should be coming regularly. Okay. If you're not having a regular period, you should have done your hormone profile by now. Probably you have PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, that must be treated. Probably your prolactin is high, must be treated. You must know. Have you done scan? Do you even have your, an, 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 do you even have an ovary or ovaries at all? Have you checked your womb? Is your womb normal womb? Maybe your womb is abnormal shape. We've seen people with abnormal womb cavity. They have septum, a kind of divided line in the womb cavity. All this will cause infertility or subfertility or recurrent miscarriages. So we need to know, or even premature delivery. We need to know all this. Get a scan. Get a scan. Get a scan. Number two, reason for uh, people needing infertility problems. Are people having fertility problems? Number two, sperm problems. The sperm is not good. Sperm has bad morphology. Sperm count is very low. So on and so forth. Number three, tube blockage. Tube has been blocked, maybe from infection, maybe blocked or damaged from ectopic pregnancy, or blocked or damaged from abscess in the tummy, or blocked or damaged because of they've been sterilized before. Bilateral tube, bilateral tube ligation. So if your tube has been blocked before, blocked tubes, they could cause you having infertility problems and they will need IVF. Sometimes it's all happening together. I've seen people, they have all these problems. I've seen people, they have only one problem. And the last last one on that ovulation problem is if people have gone through menopause. Most people coming to us after age 44, 45, having infertility problems, 80% of them, they've stopped ovulating. And how do I know if you've stopped ovulating? Is one with him. I always take your FSH hormone, FSH, follicular stimulating hormone. FSH hormone is a hormone that let, let me know whether you're still ovulating. Uh, so let me know whether you, you know, you're still having regular period. And I also do it. So if I do your FSH and it's more than 30, I begin to worry. I repeat it again six weeks down the line. And what am I looking for? If it's still persistently more than 30, on the second occasion, that means they're probably not ovulating. And in most cases, if your FSH is more than 30, your LH2 will probably be above 20, above 30, and so on and so forth. That means that you've gone through what we call premature ovulation, premature ovulatory failure, and you're not ovulating anymore. If you're not ovulating anymore, then there's a high chance, if you're above 44, 45, you might not be able to get pregnant yourself. Because first to stimulate your ovaries to produce eggs, there must be something there. If the car is not moving, the engine is damaged, no matter how much petrol you pour into the engine, the car will not move. If the person is not ovulating and I give the person medication to ovulate, the ovary will not pump out any ovulation. The ovaries will not pump out any egg. There must be some egg reserve before you can push it to ovulate. 
okay so we also check your amh as well amh is anti molecular hormone all these things are to check whether you're still ovulating or not if your amh hormone level is very low less than point less than one there's a high chance that your egg reserve is very low and if your egg reserve is very low that means that chances of success spontaneously ovulating you is going to be very very low less than two less than one why should you want to spend 1.4 million to get pregnant when there's nothing there if your your book for the four for the five your amh is low chances are that you might need egg donor to get pregnant and egg donors are accessible available your concern people are people are always telling me eh, eh, but if i use egg donor that means that that baby is not going to be ge genetically mine my sister who needs to know that the baby is not yours only you know it exists in your mind People are too busy with their life that they don't have time for that. Even the bad people, they are even too busy to worry about you. Okay? So, you have your baby first. You move on. Have your baby, move on. If you need egg, do not get it. It's not a crime. And run away from people promising you crypto pregnancy. Okay? I won't deal with that here because some people are very angry with that. So, I leave them to their problem. But, if you're not getting pregnant... If you have if you have regular intercourse, okay, allow at least 18 months of regular intercourse, okay, before you start getting worried. And when I say regular intercourse, I mean sex two to three times a week. Whether you are ovulating or not, you must have regular sex. The only time you're free from sex, I'll say all the time, the only time you're free from sex is during your period. But some people love to have sex during, during their period. It's nobody's business. It's not my business. But for the purposes of getting pregnant then you must consider having sex during your ovulation and also when you're not ovulating. If you're going to get pregnant, the only time you are able not to have sex, the only time you are free from sex, the only time I give you leave from not having sex is during your period. If you want to get pregnant, you must have sex two to three times a week. Two to three times a week. Whether you're ovulating or not. And it's not inner sex, so it's vaginal sex, unprotected. Unprotected, regular vaginal sex, not inner sex. Okay, not uh, 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 the doing withdrawal. Regular vaginal intercourse, unprotected. I use my words cautiously, I use my words intentionally and deliberately. Regular, unprotected vaginal intercourse. Okay, someone is asking a question. Does a pregnant woman ovulate? No. Theoretically, no. The, what's the purpose of ovulating? You release egg to get pregnant. Once you're pregnant, then why are you ovulating again? Once you're pregnant, the whole reproductive system shuts down and focuses its energy on developing this newborn baby forming in your womb and bringing them to life. So if you're pregnant, you don't ovulate. For people watching us on Instagram, welcome to us on Instagram. For people watching on YouTube, welcome as well. For people watching on Facebook Live, you're here. I can see you. Abu is asking the address of our laboratory in Lagos. It's been, oh, it's already on the screen. You're over here. And, uh, Christina has shared it already. And Vivian has put it, put it the address of the laboratory. Okay. Now, to improve IVF success. Okay. If you notice any offensive discharge in your vagina, Okay, you must get your vagina swabbed and treated for any infection there because bacterial vaginosis is an infection that has eyes increased risk of causing failure during IVF. Bacterial vaginosis. If you notice any offensive discharge in your vagina, but I'm not saying that ev I'm not saying that every offensive discharge in your vagina is BV. I'm not saying that every offensive discharge in your vagina is bacterial vaginosis. I'm only saying that. If you notice any offensive discharge in your vagina, go and get swabbed to know what sort of infection this is. Okay? Good. Now, let's proceed. To improve success during IVF, I've seen people get pregnant while they are still on the path for IVF. And I'm giving a guarantee to people that if you pay deposit, okay, at our IVF center, and while waiting to complete your balance before you start the treatment, if you do get pregnant, we're going to give you, each day you do get pregnant, before the IVF treatment commences, we'll give you your money back, complete refund. That's it. So I've seen people get pregnant while waiting for IVF. Somebody's asking for antenatal. 
please if you want to pay for antenatal just follow the uh, link on the screen one of our team members will post the link for the antenatal i've always mentioned this thing called pre-seed lubricants let me tell you something if you've been trying to get pregnant and pregnancy is not happening you've been having regular intercourse you've done all your moon profile you've done your hsg and everything is perfect and you're still having this regular intercourse exactly the way i explained and you're not able to get pregnant you must go tonight to jumia or to in or to amazon and get this pre-seed you must get pre-seed pre-seed lubricant is one lovely lubricant that makes the vagina environment palatable interesting comfortable and encouraging and most importantly in harmony with sperm and it facilitates sperm transport sperm mobility and it's like when you're driving on a newly tarred road you know how that lovely feeling you get that is what sperm gets and people ask me doctor how do you know that's the feeling sperm gets i just know by experience it's my job to know i know i know it by by the grace of god okay somebody's asking a question what's the normal level of emphasis emphasis and lh as far as it's below 10 both of them i'm happy in, in most cases though okay and there's another tablet called dhea people ask me what is it it's just a tablet that helps to reduce aging process of eggs i always tell people you cannot change the quantity of your egg but you can change the quality of your egg quantity you can't change because that is everything you've been given by god on the day you were born you can't change and increase the quantity of your egg. If anybody is selling you any medication to increase the quantity of your egg, they want to use your money to buy suya and granite. Okay? To improve, improve the quality, first of all, don't smoke. Don't stay around people that smoke. Don't drink alcohol. Okay? Do your regular vaginal swaps. Okay? Live healthy. Avoid being overweight. Okay? And use some vitamin support like Coco 10, DHEA. They help to reduce the aging and slow down the aging process of eggs and improve the quantity and they improve the quality of the leftover eggs you have. Somebody is saying that how long can they wait after getting COVID vaccine? covid vaccine before trying to get pregnant there's no waiting period you can get your covid vaccine virus now and the advice now from the way advice now that it's safe and it doesn't do any harm if you're trying to get pregnant okay so you don't have to wait for anything it's safe from what i know somebody is saying that i should explain the single and a double circle ivf it's very straightforward now there's no there's no nothing to eat one cycle of ivf what we do hmm? During each IVF cycle, we bring you to the laboratory. We do some tests to know what's going on with your husband and wife. Then number two, we try to um, we program your menstru menstrual cycle, okay? Not messy, so menstrual cycle, okay? Then we give some medications to stimulate your ovaries, okay? And then we give some medications as well at some point to make you, ov to make you release the egg. And uh, shortly after we give you that to release the egg, we bring it to the laboratory and we do egg retrieval. Okay, we take the egg, we put it in the laboratory to see the best eggs you've released. Okay, by checking some particular diameter on the egg. Okay, and then we get your husband's sperm count, husband's sperm, and then we introduce it in, into the egg in the laboratory. Put it in, in, in the incubator for six days. They develop. We put it. Choose the best two eggs. We put into you. Get pregnant. While you, we give you medication to stimulate your ovaries, we do get regular scan, like what we call follicular tracking scan, to see if your ovaries are responding. And that's it. That's one IVF cycle in, in a nutshell. One of that cost me, cost us 1.4 million in ATG. Okay? And that's the flat fee for Monday. Till Friday, you can still pay your 1.3 million. If you're not yet decided, tomorrow morning, call the laboratory, call Nikkei, and just pay it. Pay it. 1.3 million from from, from five five day and uh, from monday morning next week by god's grace but inshallah by god's grace in jesus name god keep us till then it's going to be 1.4 million flat and i'm not blinking an eye honestly speaking because the cost is astronomical okay if you're not sure pay what you can pay and start depositing okay or pay out and start depositing quickly all right Okay, if you want some people to help you, talk to your church members, talk to your mosque members, talk to your people at work. Let people contribute. If you bring money, okay, I'll see what I can match. Okay, then I'll support. Okay, as as a person, not as as a person.
Okay, my joy is that you should carry your baby. Okay, but I can't pay everything because it doesn't make sense. Do something, I'll meet you halfway. Do something, I'll make it to cut off the way. I want to encourage people. Okay, now that is one cycle. Two cycles is entirely so. One cycle is one cycle. Before we we're doing bonanza, we take two cycles, one, one, one point eight. Now it's not affordable. One cycle is one cycle. If you want to do two cycles, you pay two cycles separately. 1.4 times 2. She can now. Let's go back to the topic of today. So I was asking a question. Doctor, please, how long after failed IVF can someone commence another second round? There's no other fast food. But from my own experience, I would suggest give yourself six weeks. To basically, kind of a, to wash out the hormones. To allow all the medications to basically wash out. Allow your body to reset. And even allow you to cope. Reorient it yourself. Get good discussion with your doctor to see why it failed if we can know and what we can do to improve chances next time so give us a six weeks but during that six weeks have a time to see your doctor so they can go through things with you on instagram here doctor please since last year december my period has been coming on the 6th of last month what is the cause okay you've been having bleeding period on the 6th uh I don't understand your question here, honestly. I can't. I, I don't. I, I, on Instagram here, I don't. Uh, that's the, a lady called um, something from risk, for, for risk. I don't understand your question. I'm sorry. How long can one wait before flight back home after IVF? I suggest that give yourself two weeks to return back. To, two weeks before you take a flight back to wherever you're coming to, wherever you have to go back to after IVF. But ensure that you. The flight is not more than four hours, if possible. If it's more than four hours, get your test stockings. In fact. You, you, if you're flying, get TED stockings to reduce risk of blood clots in your legs, okay? And drink, drink a lot of water during your flight, okay? Drinking at least two to th at least three liters of clear water, three liter of clear water, pure water over your flight to reduce the risk of DVT. And in most cases too, we we'll give you clarity injection as well to reduce DVT as well. Okay. Can one choose gender in IVF twins triplet? Yeah, you can do family balancing. We can do that for you. But at ADG IVF Center, we don't put more than two embryo, two quality embryo. In some cases, if your health status does not permit more than one, we put only one. If you're healthy enough for more than two, uh, for two, if you're healthy enough and we can see that you got two healthy embryos, we give you the two. And it doesn't cost us extra. To do one is the same cost as to do two. Chicken, huh? But if you're not healthy enough, your kidneys are not good enough, your heart is not good enough, we put only one. Okay? All right. Because we have to keep you healthy and alive too. Can a single mother do IVF? I'm not sure. I'll get that. In, in UK here, we have different laws. Different laws of IVF are different laws in different countries. For Nigeria, the law is not entirely clear on that. I'm a single parent doing IVF. So I won't go there. Okay? I won't go there for now. But with time, we'll get clarity on that in Nigeria. And then we'll be able to discuss that here. But for IVF, for now in Nigeria... You know, I think it's couples, but I'm sure things will change. But once I get uh, clarity on that, I'll let you know. All right, Adija is asking a question. Adija, what's your question? When can one try to conceive through IVF after C section? You lost your baby. Yeah, sorry. Okay, if you did IVF, if you had a C section before, allow your womb to heal. Give yourself minimum, minimum of 12 months for your womb, womb, womb incision to heal. Some will say six months, some will say 18 months. There's no hard and fast rule. So I go midway. Say 12 months. Doctor, can someone under IVF take CoQ10? Yes. Doctor, how long do I need to take? How long do I need to take before going back to work after IVF? After IVF, you can give yourself two to four weeks before going back to work. Two, two to four weeks. Somebody say, what does T4 have to do with conception? T4 is thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone is very essential for developing of the neural tissues of the baby. So if you got abnormal thyroid function test, okay, it can make you have miscarriage. Yes. So T4 hormone is very important for development of baby's brain in conception. Okay. How many percentage of eggs is needed for IUI? Percentage of eggs? Nobody does that. I don't know what, what you mean by that. And that is better, Alex. How many percentage of eggs is needed for IUI? We don't, I don't know what percentage. I don't, I don't know what you mean by percentage of eggs i'm sure i i don't really know i don't know what that means okay um for foristic on instagram she's saying i mean i've been seeing my period on the 6th of every month since last december what is the cause it's nothing now because you're a human being the cause is that you're you're a good person god has blessed you you have regular period 
you're good and you're doing what you're supposed to do. Keep doing that. God bless you. I need to come back. Either this a song. What's your question? See, as I'm asking a question here, sometimes and one pops up, I lose the question. So ask the question again. Let me let me answer you. So I'm human, you know. I might I make make mistakes. So if your question is not answered, ask them. And if you if, if you add a question answered, let other people ask question. Somebody's asking how much is IUI in ATG. I don't have the price on top of my head, but tomorrow morning, eh? The address is already on the page here. And there's a number, phone number. Call my secretary, Nikkei. She'll tell you the list. And she'll give you the price of IUI, of IVF. And everything you know, or you need to know about IVF. She'll give you the pricing. Whether gen gender selection, family balancing, genetic, gen genetic testing for the embryo. We don't have a list now because they are very expensive. And some of them are not done in Nigeria. So we don't have a list of price for genetic testing, okay? Drugs to boost fertility. Take the DHEA to boost fertility, to boost boost your egg quality. Not egg number, egg quality. Take DHEA to boost your egg quality, not number, a DHEA. Can someone deliver without CS with IVF? If you had IVF, you can deliver normally, vagina. If you had IVF, you can deliver vaginally. If you had IVF, you can deliver vaginally. And if you have IVF and there's any reason that we are worried about baby and you need CS, we can deliver you to by CS too. Because you had IVF does not automatically mean that you must have CS. Because you had IVF does not automatically mean that you must need CS. Okay. We take things case by case, baby. And case by case basis. <laughs> Excuse me for that. So somebody is asking, is it exact precede or any began? To improve sex uh, sperm comfort, get precede. I said it over and over again. Stop! Don't let us argue. Get pre-seed. I know people here. There are many, many people there that they want to use their own idea. Get pre-seed. If you don't want to get it, that's fine. Okay, I won't say about that. Get pre-seed. Okay, that is me. If you don't like it, then leave it alone. Get pre-seed. Get pre-seed lubricant. Pre-seed lubricant. Okay. If you don't like it, leave it. You don't have to get it, but if you want to get it, get pre-seed lubricant. Okay, that I've, uh, um, Dr. Bostai, Dr. Bosidai, you can purchase DHEA on Amazon. Mercy Befa Ebizimo. What are the tests wanting to do before going for IVF? The person has an endometriosis issue. Okay, straightforward. Have you checked your uh, your monoclonal profile? FSH, LH, prolactin, testosterone. Rubella, uh, mm, yep, uh, we check your ultrasound scan. You have endometriosis, you might need laparoscopy or hysteroscopy. We check your ultrasound sperm count. Okay, that's it. And we also check your HSG, most importantly, if you have endometriosis, we check your HSG to see if there's any damage to your tubes. Go to laboratory tomorrow morning, HSG laboratory. HG laboratory, call Nike, and she'll go through all these tests with you and she'll tell you the cost of all these tests. Okay. Thank you everyone for joining today. I really appreciate you. Hope to see you soon again. Once again, my name is Dr. J. I love you so much and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and have a wonderful rest of your week. God bless you. Bye bye.